Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, I will make a way where there seems no way. So put your trust in me with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding any longer. For I can make a way through the wilderness and cause streams to rise, bringing refreshing even in the desert times. I can split the sea, move mountains or any barrier before you and allow you to walk through on dry ground. I can conquer any giant and bring victory in your hands, my child. I can close the mouth of lions, of those who have falsely accused you, and provide safety for you, my child. I can open prison doors, set you free from any prison that the enemy has kept you captive. I can protect you from the flames of adversity. I can carry you through any storm. I am the God of miracles, and I never change. So keep your confidence in me and do not despair when things are not working out according to your plans. I will refresh you and bring restoration and healing to your troubled soul. So rest in my presence. Yes, rest in the presence of my spirit today. For my spirit will remind you of my words, who helps you to remember my deeds and who confirms and also conforms you to my Father's will. So never underestimate my words that have power to reach into your heart and those afar off. My words will perform any delicate surgery necessary to help you understand the truth, to receive correction, to accept instruction and to understand my will for your life. My words when spoken are like a double-edged sword to help to bring healing to your innermost parts. Yes, my child, to your inner being of your soul and spirit, to bring healing to your physical being, your joints, organs, muscles, and marrows, and so forth. Yes, and healing to your mind and heart. My child, my word is alive because this scalpel is used by my spirit to work on every area of your being to bring you into conformity to my will. So I invite today you to come into that secret place to go deeper in my spirit for my spirit will help you to look at the things that I taught and the way that I lived and the way I treated people. Yes, invite my spirit to work in you more today, my child, for my word is in your hearts and as you allow that to be stirred up and when the word is in the hands of my spirit, it will bring you into all truth and give you the grace to follow me as my disciple and apply my word to your life each and every day. Allow me to work things out for you, my child, by putting your faith and trust in me alone. I am the one who leads you into paths of righteousness. My love for you is pure, and I always desire to bless you. My child, never doubt my promises. Seek me with all of your hearts. Watch me move on your behalf. Allow me to supply your every need, for nothing is too difficult difficult for me. I will fulfill my word that I have promised to you. The storms today have much significance for the matrix of your miracle is the problem that will be your promotion today, my child, for the warfare that you've been experiencing and surrounding you also surrounds the birth of your miracle also. So, do not tell me how big your storm is, but learn to tell the storm how big I am. Yes, my child, faith is not believing without proof. It's trusting without advance booking, my child. You cannot dance in the storm when you are afraid of the storm. Therefore, because 
fear destroys and produces momentum that can stop your miracles. Therefore, you must not doubt, but believe today. For I have called you to be among the remnant, and I have called you to do great exploits in my name within this last hour. I shall demonstrate who I am in your life. Yes, I shall demonstrate that I am the great I am. I shall do miracles that will baffle the entire world. I shall demonstrate who I am so that in every continent and in every place within this world, they will see my power, they will see my glory, and they will be in bewilderment. For many were bewildered when I was casting out evil spirits, when I calmed the raging storms, when I cleansed the lepers, when I fed the multitudes with loaves and fishes, when I walked on water, when the paralytic walked, when the blind eyes opened, when the deaf ears opened, when the mute spoke, when the dead were raised, when the withered hands grew, when I turned the water to wine and filled the fishing nets with multitudes of fish. Be like the woman with the bleeding issue that never doubted what I could do and touch the hem of my garment. For I am the God of many miracles and I will always answer your prayers. I will demonstrate who I am in my power, in my majesty, in my love, in my compassion, in my strength and in my working of miracles. When you can't stand your life, then Bow down in prayer to me, for that is when I will step in and miracles shall happen. So do not doubt me any longer, but believe, for I am the miracle walker who is the same yesterday, today and forever. And I will fight for you today, my child. So be at peace, knowing that I am with you, knowing that I am for you. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Psalm 62, verses 5 to 7, it says, My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is is in God. Somebody say hallelujah. Precious saints, we will face battles each and every day. And there is a war between the forces of good and evil within our lives each and every day, saints. And we must stand firm until the very end. See, the devil knows that his days are drawing to an end. And he is trying to make this world even more more perverse than ever before, even more vulgar than ever before, even more violent than ever before, even more corrupt than ever before, and even more deception than ever before, precious saints. But As we are fighting the good fight of faith each day, we do not fight this battle alone. So never fear, precious saints, because God is with us. That's right. Trust in God. Trust in God in the midst of a rainy day. Trust in God even in the hot temperature days, those days that are filled with pressure and all the different things that that this life can bring against us. Do not be shaken. For God's word is like a sword to protect us against the enemy. There is always going to be people in your life who will misunderstand you. There will be people in your life that just will not like you. There will always be people who will even criticize you. There will be people that will make all false accusations against you. There will be people that will judge you. There will be people that will attack you. And there will even be people that will spread rumors about you. See, when you understand, you're going to have a tenacity to stand firm to get in there and even uh, stand firmer in the Word of God. Now, when we uh, allow these things to get to us, we'll feel that we just need to defend ourselves. See, when you're attacked, you will have a tendency to attack back. It's just natural. 
just like the rest of us. When people criticize you, you will even want to criticize them back. When people insult you, you will want to even insult them back, precious saints. But don't do it. Because God is your defender. Every time you are under attack, every time they criticize you, every time they put you down, every time they misunderstand you, you have two choices. You can defend yourself or you can let God defend you. Which one will it be? Do you think that you can do a better job at defending yourself than God can? Pay attention to this. See, your You're you're just like um, most Christians today. Everyone is being attacked from all different angles, but we have a choice. See, you're most like Christ when you say nothing in the face of the attack, in the face of lies, in the face of unfair criticism. You're most like Jesus when you remain silent and leave it in God's hands precious saints. See, when Jesus was insulted, according to 1 Peter 2 23, it says, he did not answer back with an insult. When he suffered, he did he did not threaten, but placed his hopes in God, the righteous judge. Precious saints. So remember, our battle is not against flesh and blood. We have a spiritual sword, which is the word of God. Now to sharpen this sword as we battle each day, I think it's important to reflect. It's important to meditate on. It's important to memorize the word of God so that you can use it at those pressing times. So as we reflect on the passages that we are going and delving into today, it says, you know, God has promised. He said, my soul waits silently for God alone. For my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my glory is God. God is your defender and he shall defend you alone. So Put your hope in Him. He alone protects. He alone saves us. He is our defender. And no one can defeat God. Hallelujah. He is our protector. He is our shelter, precious saints. So allow God to defend you today to bring about His perfect will in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we come boldly to your throne room of grace and we find mercy and grace to help in time of need. Grant us and even our loved ones release from bondage to strongholds of the enemy today. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ to cancel all commands of the powers of darkness in our lives and in that of our loved ones' lives today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, you will be our defender. You will vindicate us and you will come and fight our battles. Jesus, come to destroy the works of the devil. And that's what you did. And that's what we can stand upon. His blood defeated the God of this age. In Jesus' name, we take back all ground off ourselves that the enemy has been given over to the enemy or that of our loved ones today. Lord, draw us and our loved ones out of bondage and out of deception today in the name of Jesus Christ. We have the heavenly intercession of the Holy Spirit that is here today and through Jesus Christ who also intercedes on our behalf. Father, focus the intercession of the Spirit today on all those that are listening. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus for all those that are listening today that you would touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, answer these prayers according to your perfect will. Lord Jesus, our intercessor, apply all your mighty work against the enemy today. Bring all the power of the incarnation, the crucifixion, the resurrection and the ascension against every assignment that is seeking Seeking to destroy any person's life or their loved ones today in the name of Jesus Christ. Most high God, 
Lord, contend with those who contend with us. Contend with those who contend with us today. We rebuke the enemy in all his operation. Dispatch mighty warrior angels to battle on our behalf and those that are listening today. Oh God, defend them, vindicate them. Oh yes, sir. Contend with those who contend with us. Oh God, contend with those who contend with us. Those that have put their mouth on us. Those that have put their hands on us. Those that have made false accusations against us. Oh God, arise and let our enemies be scattered. Send your light and your truth and lead us today. Remove all spiritual blindness, remove all spiritual deafness, and remove all spiritual hardness of heart today. Grant us eyes to see, grant us ears to hear, grant us a heart that seeks you. We plead for your mercy and grace over our lives and over that of our loved ones, of our personal sins, of our failures, of our family iniquities. Break through and heal us. Heal our loved ones also of any wounded spirit. Bind a hedge of thorns around us and our loved ones today that will repel all the works of darkness within our lives and that of our loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. This battle is not against flesh and blood. And we have spiritual weapons that set captives free. And by your Holy Spirit, we break every yoke of bondage within our lives and that of our loved ones today in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant us and our loved ones conviction of sin with godly sorrow to repentance and deliverance from captivity. Set us ablaze. Set us completely free today. It is written, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We thank you for your mighty work by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for granting us the grace, the power, the persistence and the love in intercession with faith Lord, today, until you are glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we hold fast today to that which is good. Lord, when we wake up to the world as it really is, Lord, it can be terrifying, especially those that are coming to the know the truth of what the enemy is doing within these last days deception. I pray that you would wake more people up. Wake more people up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Almighty, we pray for instant miracles that will turn the supposed disadvantages within anyone's lives to advantages today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your miracle will touch all parts of our life and testimonies will not be far from our mouth from this day forth in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you allow us to be protected from our enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make us a living wonder that will even preach your mercies and share it with other sinners, O oh Lord. O oh God, as you have cleansed us, you will also cleanse others. Father, we pray for your divine mercy that you would heal us completely in body, mind and soul. Let your divine power wash through all the nooks and within our body and fill it up today in the name of Jesus Christ. Make us whole and a walking testimony so that we may dance in tribulations of our life and we will dance in every season. Lord, uplift today each person that is suffering today. We ask for your mercy today as we lift up your name high today. Father, we pray on the behalf of any sick person today. Today, we request for your intervention. I pray, Lord, on behalf of those that need your divine provision. Lord, today we request for your intervention. I pray for all those that are oppressed today. Lord, we request for your intervention. Lord, we cannot do it alone. And if we even tried, we know that we cannot stomach the potential consequences. So we stand before you today and ask that you would heal each person today of his or her sickness. Lord, I pray, Lord, as we look through the scriptures and we see all the examples of how you went around healing all that was sick and oppressed of the devil. Lord, I pray for that miracle now to come upon that person that needs to receive it. We pray with the knowledge that we can keep 
standing and know that you will answer our prayers. Lord, we speak miracles right now to every person that physically needs it right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we speak complete restoration and wholeness in every part of their bodies in Jesus' mighty name. We speak creative miracles now in Jesus' mighty name to whatever the need is within their lives. Come and visit your people. As we speak, we see also the invisible glory mixed with the invisible sound of his word will create the invisible the visible substance of his manifestation of miracles now in Jesus name that's right Lord we pray today Lord we see the invisible glory mixed with the visible invisible sound of his word will create the visible substance of his manifestation of miracles now on each person Lord, just receive it by faith for each person that is here. Receive from the Lord by faith. As we have declared, let it be established for each person's life. We speak those miracles right now over their physical needs. We speak complete restoration and wholeness to each person's body. Lord, do your divine provision. You will come and touch your people. I speak creative miracles now upon your people today. Touch them. Fill them today. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom.